Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to measure a house using pitch gauge. First, you go into PG Precise. You then enter an address above. Find your address and you can simply start drawing. You open the side panel by pressing the cross, the cross here on the left. You open that by either clicking on it or sliding across. Clicking on it or sliding across. Either way, it'll open. You press the draw tool. Notice when you press the draw tool, the tag tool below it lights up. In order to close this menu, you press on the, on the draw tool on the right over here on the map. You click on it and it closes. Notice right here you have tips. You can close that. Once you get your house centered, you notice at the bottom you have ridge, valleys, hips, eaves. So what we gotta do now is we gotta trace the roof with our finger or a stylus while labeling these lines. So let's draw the ridges first. Right now, all I'm doing is using my finger. I'm on an iPhone and I'm touching each ridge from one side to another as if I'm drawing it. Just like that. I drew it. Don't worry about it not being perfect. Just draw it. We drew our ridges. We can fix that right now by moving the line to where it belongs to. In order to move a line, you have to tap and any end point of a line so basically on this on any of these ridges I can touch an end and it should become a dashed line so if I tap this it became a dashed line just like that I tapped the dash the middle line at the end and it became a dashed line I tapped it I didn't leave my finger on there so because I tapped it my finger is off right now and the line is dashed now, if I want to move it to where I want it to be at, I don't want my finger on the way because then I won't be able to see. So what we have made is an algorithm that lets you put your finger or your stylus anywhere and you can touch down and start moving your line and get it exactly precisely where you want it. So here we go. I'm going to touch down somewhere on the bottom right of the screen, not on top of the line. I'm touching and as I move, the line detects my movement and I can get it exactly where I want it. See, I can get it right there and, and this is really quick. I can do that to all the lines. I can adjust everything if I want it to. Okay, so once you get your lines where you want it, I can go further and adjust it further. But then the next thing you want to do is you want to draw your next line, which would be your valleys. I would say valleys. I would say starting off, I would draw in this order. Draw your ridges first, your valleys, your hips, and your eaves. I would draw in this order first, just to make sure that you can get all your uh, shapes and your sections accounted for. Otherwise, you might leave some uh, account, uh, unaccounted for, or you might measure them twice. I'll explain that later. But basically, let's draw the valleys. Here, I can draw one valley. I can draw another valley. I can also draw two valleys at a time or any two lines at a time. So basically I just drag to there without stopping. I move to here. Now pitch gauge is smart enough to detect that you just made a turn and it would convert that to two separate lines. So as I, as you can see, if I try to move it, I have two lines connected to that ridge. So. Any more valleys? Not that I can see. So the next thing I would do is choose hips. This roof does not have any hips. Hips are just like ridges. They're just like this, except for they go downwards like valleys. They go downwards like valleys. I'll show you that on another tutorial. But let's draw the eaves next. Eaves. Let's draw this. Remember, we can draw multiple lines. So draw here and here and here and here. And let's draw a little one here from what we can see. There we go. 
We can't really see that front yet, but so we're not really going to worry about that right now. So what we're going to do next is we are going to, uh, we don't see any more eaves right now. We're just going to start drawing in the rakes. The rakes, here we go, rakes, rakes. And don't worry about your drawing not being perfect. We're going to worry about that later. Okay. Here, we know this thing, we think that's a rake. We think that's a rake. Okay. So what we, from what we can see here, we got the measurement, we got the roof, you know, pretty close. We're going to go back and adjust it just to get it nicer and make sure we're accurate. Go here. And what I wanted to show you is that if you ever want to check out your measurements, you can open this side menu and you can uh, click on, on right here on this button length. If you press that, you're going to see your, uh, your measurements of each line. And as you move them, you can see that they adjust. This is how you know your, your uh, measurements are accurate because they're moving to the inch, to the inch of your, your, your touch. Like so, you can literally measure your roof down to the inch. It's up to you how accurate you want to get. But you want to get as accurate as you can so you can get the, you know, so you're not short on materials or you can, you know, don't short the homeowner or pay overpay the homeowner. Okay, so um, I'm going to say this is pretty close. Uh, I don't need to see the lengths anymore. So uh, the next thing I would do is uh, we're still measuring a, a flat roof. So well, now we have to enter a pitch. Uh, we don't have any wall flashing, step flashing, not worrying about gutters. So the next thing we do is enter the pitch. So we open up the side menu and enter the pitch. When you enter the pitch, you can see that the line, the draw tool and the tag tool disappear. So now you're in the pitch entering, you know, tool. So in order to enter the pitch, there's a couple things here. If you know the pitch, you will touch down here at the bottom, touch down here at the bottom, this pops up and you just enter it manually, say, 512 or if you're you know metric 45 degrees you know that's 1212 so uh, let's just say 512 so um, once I enter the pitch down here then I can just touch each section that has 512 if all sections have 512 then I can just touch this little globe right here on the bottom right touch that globe press yes every section turns into 512 now another thing if I don't know if I if I don't know the pitch and I'm, and, and I'm at the actual property. Let's say you're there and you don't know the pitch, but you're there. Find the tile you're having trouble with and click. Here you'll find many tutorials and we're constantly updating this list. Thanks for watching.